Mike Radich here, and I'm now joining the phone by World Series of Fighting welterweight Joel Powell. Joel, how are you? I'm pretty good, man. How are you? I'm doing good. Joel, you got a fight coming up February 21st at World Series of Fighting Canada 1. How's training been going for the fight? Where exactly are you training in preparation for this fight? Are you training with Hamilton Muay Thai? Are you training with Discipline MMA? Right now I'm training with Discipline MMA, and I train also with the Ultimate Muay Thai guys mm -hmm. and um, Brampton. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyone that we know of, you know, any, any any big names that you've brought into this camp to help you train for Ryan Ford? Yeah, I brought in um, Chris Prickett, who's a national level wrestler, and mm -hmm. I also brought in Bazooka Joe, Joe Villatini. Mm -hmm. Right, yep. So I brought him in for the striking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Joel, you were originally supposed to fight Ryan Ford back in July of last year. You were supposed to fight him at AFC 19. You ended up getting an injury and having to pull out of the fight. What exactly was the injury and how serious was it? Yeah, the injury that I had, I, it occurred um, in the George Lockhart fight. Mm -hmm. So right. I fractured my fibula, but right by my knee. So I could barely walk. So for basically three weeks after the Lockhart fight, I wasn't walking and stuff, and for the Mike Hill fight, I barely did any training. Mm -hmm. So I knew I was main event, so I took the fight anyways, and um, the conditioning was a factor because I couldn't jog, I couldn't run, I couldn't really spar or do anything. So I, I thought it would be smart not to take the Ryan Ford fight at the time. Mm, I see, I see. Now, were you worried that you, that you weren't going to get this fight? Because things have changed. AFC is no longer AFC. They're World Series of Fighting Canada now. And also, at the time, Ryan Ford was on loan from Bellator. So when, when AFC became World Series of Fighting, a lot of people thought that he wasn't going to be able to go over because World Series of Fighting and Bellator are, are competitors. So were you worried that this fight wasn't going to happen? Yeah, I was kind of worried that the fight wasn't going to happen. Like, after the July fight and then after... Um um, they were bought by um, World Series of Fighting. I thought the fight wasn't going to happen for sure, but it came as a surprise when they said if I wanted to fight Ryan Ford, it was a mm -hmm. great opportunity, and I took it right away. Mm -hmm. Just curious, after he fought Michael Hill, they didn't come immediately to you and say, hey, you're getting the winner of that fight, because you had already beaten Michael Hill, and, and you were supposed to fight Ford. Uh, they, they didn't say that you, that you were the number one contender after that fight between Ford and Hill? Now, your injury, how long ago were you ready to fight? Obviously, you haven't fought since you fought against Mike Hill and you were injured in that fight. So, when exactly were you, were you fully healed and ready to fight? Um, when I was fully healed, I would say probably about six, six maybe seven months after Mike Hill fight. Because mm -hmm. basically, after a Lockhart fight, I should have taken eight weeks off to heal the injury. Mm -hmm. But I wanted the muscle fight really badly, so I fought injured and it didn't really matter. But, um, after a hill fight, I kind of aggravated it a lot, and if you watch that fight, you'll notice I couldn't use that fight the whole fight, and it affected me in terms of conditioning and the ability to finish, so I didn't want to be in that situation or Ryan for it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, you said that for the Mike Hill fight, you didn't do really any training for it. Give us an idea. How much training did you do? Like a week of training, more or less? What exactly are we talking about? For Mike Hill fight, my training basically me standing in one spot and people holding pads for me and in terms of sparring I couldn't move around or walk so my sparring partners would just stay in the pocket with me mm -hmm. so I couldn't move just did enough to like get a little bit of conditioning but I was already in condition good shape from the rock hard fight so that helped me a lot so then I noticed in the hell fight second the third round I faded but that's because I couldn't do absolutely no condition whatsoever in that mm -hmm. right? so. How were you able to cut weight for that fight? I rode the bike. Oh. How I cut the weight. Yeah, I rode the bike. I don't really jog to cut weight, so I rode the bike, and that's how I lost my weight. Oh, I see, I see. Now, if I understand correctly, you don't walk around that heavy. You're, you're around 182, is, is that right? Yeah, I walk around about, yeah, 183. Mm -hmm. so. I see. 182, 185, sometimes it depends. Oh, 
I see, I see. Now, you're going to be taking on Ryan Ford on February 21st. What are your thoughts about him as an opponent? Um, Ryan Ford, matchup wise, is a good matchup. He's an aggressive fighter. He comes to fish. We both go in there to fish. So I just want to excite and fight and a guy that's in there willing to try and finish me, and I'll be in there trying to finish him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's what I'm looking for, too. Mm-hmm. Now, is there any bad blood between you and Ryan Ford, or is it just a fight? Yeah, I was just checking because I, I heard I hear rumors all the time on the internet. You, you can never trust the internet, so I, I just had to ask yeah, to clear mostly, it up. Yeah, mostly it's just rumors. I've never actually communicated with Ryan Ford at all, ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I said, I I didn't know, and and you guys were supposed to fight in the past. So and and now the fight's coming back around. We're, we're getting a chance to see it here on the twenty first. So I just I had to make sure. Obviously. You took this fight because you feel that this is a fight that you can win. So, where do you feel that you have the advantage in this fight? Um, basically, I have the advantage in a lot of areas, but when it comes to fight night, that people see where I have the advantage. I don't really want to say mm-hmm. where I'm stronger at than him, but when it comes to the fight, we'll see. Mm-hmm. Now, who wanted this fight more? If you had to say, who wanted this fight more? Was it you, or was it World Series of Fighting Canada, which used to be AFC? Who, who wanted to put this fight together more? I would say I probably wanted to fight more, because Ryan Ford's like a good challenge, and I really wanted that fight. So I like to test myself every time, so I really wanted that fight. Mm-hmm. So I asked for it. Mm-hmm. Now, you fought against some, some good competition in the past. You fought Joe Dirksen, Michael Hill, a lot of great guys on your resume here. How much of a step up in competition do you see Ryan Ford as? Was the Joe Dirksen fight the only time you fought at middleweight? Yeah, mm-hmm. I did. Yeah, I, I had to eat up to get to that weight. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, yeah, you walk at 183, so, yeah. Yeah, I think that day I stepped on the scale, I weighed in at like 180, and I had to go up to my room, drink some water, eat some food, so I could at least weigh in like 183. Oh. That's what I weighed in. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Now, back to Ryan Ford for a minute here. You're going to be fighting in Edmonton, which is his hometown. Are you looking forward to kind of being the, the villain in this scenario because you're coming into his hometown, it's for a belt, it's a big fight, big show. Um, are, are you looking forward to going into his hometown and fighting him? Obviously, this is nothing new for you. You've done it in the past. Are you looking forward to playing that villain role? Now, what would you rather hear? Would you rather hear uh, a massive crowd cheering for you, or would you rather hear a you know the other guy's hometown silent when you win a fight? What, what's what's better to hear for you, the silence or the noise? It doesn't matter to me, silence and noise. It's both fine to me. I'm not. I don't care either. Or. Oh, I see. I see. Now, Ryan Ford was the AFC welterweight champion, and since AFC is now World Series of Fighting Canada, is he the champion, or is this a vacant belt? Do you know? I see, I see. Now, I was looking at your record, and you have a pretty big gap in between fights from October of 2008 to April of 2011. You didn't have any fights in that time period. Just curious, what was going on at that time? Yeah, what was going on at that time was um, I had two fights that I had, two bad losses that I shouldn't have lost. I, I had a fight where I chased a guy around the entire fight, landed more strikes than him. Mm-hmm. dominated him and lost the decision and then I had my second loss where I was dominating the guy um, I was in on a low leg attack and he hit me eight times to the back of the head and it was ruled a win from mm-hmm. so it kind of discouraged me a little bit from competing 
Now, would you say during that time you were retired or were you just on a break? Not retired. I was kind of on a break. I focused more on working on my business and stuff like that, and that's basically what I did. Mm-hmm. Now, your business, is that the home renovation? Home renovation, yeah. Do you still do that? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the the break that you had there, what brought you back to the sport? Was it, you know, someone... Some you know a, a coach or someone saying you know hey Joel I you know you're, you're too talented to, to be sitting on the sidelines you need to get back in there was it was it just yourself saying all right now's the right time to get back into it was it a family member you know who exactly pushed you to get back into the sport um, I was sitting at home and I got a call from um, Wolf Slayer mm-hmm. he needed a wrestler for Mike Bisping's camp but I mm-hmm. think he was fighting Dennis Camp so they called me and my brother up and um, they flew us out to England we helped. Mm-hmm. And then training with him and getting back into it kind of got me back into doing the sport again. And since that, since then, I've just been training. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, that was uh, yeah, a couple of years ago, maybe three, four years ago or something. Since when I got back into it. Mm-hmm. Since you returned to this sport, you're six and one. The only loss was against Joe Dirksen, but that was a fight where you were fighting up in weight, and Joe Dirksen is a, a great opponent, so no shame in that loss. Besides the Dirksen fight, the, the six fights that you had, how have you been able to go on this nice little run that you've had? You, you've you've had uh, six wins, and I believe four of them are stoppages. What do you credit that to? Why, why are why are you looking better than ever now? This fight is going to be taking place on February 21st, but the fight will air on NBC Sports Network on the the next week. So February 28th is when it's going to air on TV here in the United States. For people who have possibly never seen you fight before, what should they expect from you coming up on the 21st? This fight is going to be for the World Series of Fighting Canadian welterweight title. Is this the first time you fought for a belt? Yeah, this is the first time I fought for a belt in MMA. Yeah, but I fought for a belt in other competitive sports. Honestly, the belt really doesn't mean anything to me because it's really not like a major belt. It's just um, a step forward. So I just really want to beat Ryan Ford. I couldn't care less if it was for a belt or if, it was, if it's not for a belt. So it doesn't matter if it's for a belt or not. I just wanted that fight. Mm-hmm. I see, I see. April 19th, there's a rumor out there that you're going to be fighting on World Series of Fighting Canada 2. It's going to be happening April 19th in Hamilton, Ontario, uh, against Ryan Dixon. Is that fight on? Like, win, lose, or draw against Ryan Ford? Are you going to be fighting on that card? Actually, that's the first time I've heard about it. I know there's a card April 19th in Hamilton, but I haven't heard anything about me potentially fighting Ryan Dixon. But if that's a fight they want... I'll take any fight, so it doesn't matter to me. Joel, last question. Your nickname. You don't have one. Why not? I never actually had one, but I believe the World Series of Fighting guys, they called me the prototype. That's their nickname they came up with, so maybe it's the prototype, I'm not sure. Since they came up with it, does that mean on the 21st they're going to announce you as that? They might be. (laughs) We'll just have to tune in and find out. I like the tease. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I like the nickname, too. Uh, Joel, real quick before I let you go, do you have any sponsors you'd like to thank, and is there anything you'd like to say to the fans? Yeah, I'd like to um, thank all my training partners, um, all the guys at Discipline MMA, the guys at um, Ultimate. Um, I'd like to thank Gamma, Gamma Labs. Um, I'd like to thank Fight Empire and Chuggies and everyone for supporting me. Joel, thank you for taking the time to talk. I really appreciate it. Good luck February 21st at World Series of Fighting Canada 1 against Ryan Ford.